Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today for our uh, January edition of Pitch Perfect. There will be forward-looking information in today's presentation, so just be mindful of the fact that there can be no assurances that forward-looking information will prove to be accurate as actual results may vary and future events uh, may differ materially. So be mindful of that in today's session. And now I'd like to turn things over to Barry, the CEO of Equo. Equo is building a platform that connects entrepreneurs with the resources that they need to succeed, which is a very important mission there. So Barry, tell us a little bit more about Equo. So first, thanks, Trieste. Uh, I'm Barry Hillier, founder of Equo. I'd like to start by sharing a video that I think many of us have, have experienced. No, 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 no. Probably not. Probably not. You're an entrepreneur, and it doesn't matter what they think, because you won't stop chasing your dreams. We get it. Welcome to Equal, a revolution in funding and capital solutions, built by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs and the people who fund them. Visit EquoShift.com. We've all heard no far too often. The reality is that 90% of entrepreneurs are building small companies, but our ecosystem is built for scale-ups pursuing billion dollar valuations. There's an irony though that 90% of accredited investors who'd rather invest in businesses and industries that they understand with business models that make sense to them before going out chasing unicorns, but they don't have access to those entrepreneurs. There's a mismatch in the marketplace. Equal is changing that. We're building the first matchmaking platform to connect small business with investors, capital, and customers. So founders can hear yes from the investors and capital providers <clears throat> to grow. Equal will be the first global distributed marketplace with recommendation engines based on data tagging, natural language tokens, and AI that discover what entrepreneurs need and match them to investors, lenders, and capital providers based on aligned criteria and mutual fit. This allows for greater deal flow. And because we're adding accredited investors who aren't part of the traditional ecosystem, as well as retail investors and alternative FinTech, we're creating more opportunities for entrepreneurs to find the capital they need. Together, we prove that small really is big. We're a for-profit social enterprise with multiple revenue streams being reinvested into new features and markets as we grow. And our market is global with 583 million small businesses and tens of millions of investors and capital providers who need our platform. And our goal is to IPO in five to eight years. We intend to provide financial ROI in your investment, but it also is going to have greater impact. Equal will reduce barriers to funding and capital, as well as the costs. We're increasing approvals through greater funding and credit alternatives and helping small business grow, improving economies, adding jobs, and solving big problems. Be part of our journey. Together, we can show that you're never too small to make a big difference. So I look forward to answering your questions. Thanks so much, Barry. Great presentation. And uh, I love the video there. Definitely being an entrepreneur is a challenge. You have to wear so many hats. There are so many things that you need to do for the business to get it off the ground. So I'd love it if you can walk um, myself and the audience through uh, a typical user journey for an entrepreneur on the Equo platform and what resources you're able to provide them along the way. No, absolutely. So what we've done is we've created a logic layer so when a user goes in, uh, and this is the case for investors as well as capital providers, but when an entrepreneur goes in, they're, they're creating a profile. And on that profile, they're indicating everything about who they are. But that's also including things like founder composition, the industries that they're working in. It's including key information, whether or not they're utilizing AI or certain technologies. What is the size and the scale of their company? What's the stage of their company? And all of this meta take data, what that's allowing us to do is to actually find the right corresponding investors and capital providers in order to properly create 
a match that isn't going to waste either party's time. Because too often you have a lot of capital providers or investors who are getting hundreds of applications. But the reality is it's a very small group that's actually really applicable in terms of fit. So we're removing all of that by creating the right matching and allowing that to then create opportunities for other investors who are really the right matches to be connected with other entrepreneurs. And so that's basically the foundation of, of what we're looking for within the platform. That's great. Thanks so much. And I know one thing you mentioned during the presentation is being a social enterprise. And I know a, a big mission of what you do is being able to support the historically underestimated and underrepresented founders um, by providing them you know, equal access to the resources that they need. So perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how you're doing this and how you're doing it differently than what the current status quo is. Yeah, one of the things that I think is really important, especially at a time, and rightfully so, that people are really focused on specific groups of, of, of founders, uh, the reality is we've stopped uh, making comments like, oh, they're marginalized. Because when you actually add up female founders, when you add up Black founders, when you add up Indigenous founders, they represent the majority of the businesses that are out there. Uh, but they're not the only people that are being underestimated. It's small businesses under $10 million. We've got this huge focus on, on, on large scaling companies. So what we're doing is we're creating a platform that as well as creating the transactional and, and the correct matches to form a distributed marketplace, we're democratizing the opportunity so that founders are being financed and they're able to get found based on their ideas, based on the market traction. But we're also able, because we're indicating what founder composition and industries are, we're able to now find allies of those people. So if there are investors who are specifically looking for very specific groups or even industries, because industries that aren't tech have been underestimated as well. The reality is you have agriculture industries, manufacturing industry, retail industries. Look at what we've just seen today. Not every single company is going to be a SaaS-based model in tech, and those are companies that need to find funding as well. So our platform is going to be able to connect all of these underestimated companies with the people who actually are looking for them, because a lot of the investors, including retail investors that are a major part of crowdfunding solutions like FrontFunder, we have 24 million Canadians that can be uh, investing via crowdfunding, and we've got 1 million accredited investors. Well, that's a lot more funding out there. And they're really interested in finding the local companies like MASH and Jamstack and everybody that we've just uh, seen just today alone. Absolutely. I think um, definitely it's a, it's a big task. Um, and I think, you know, the numbers that you presented just show how much of an impact can be had by giving everyone these opportunities, which is, is truly incredible. Um, mm -hmm. I know as, as part of building the business, you know, companies are often searching for um, securing advisors, funding, professional services, and, and that's a big part of what you're able to do as well. So maybe you can explain to those who are perhaps a little less familiar, just what's that process currently like and, and how are you making that easier? Yeah, uh, currently what's happening is most ecosystems are, are either closed ecosystems where, where you happen to know somebody because you're in the right network. Uh, but generally speaking, there, there are a considerably large amount of resources, not just capital resources, but human resources. If you take a look at boomers as an example, not only are they about to transfer $750 billion of, of money down to younger generations, there are also people that they're looking to be advisors. They're looking to be able to take part in, in, in startups and, and growth companies. So the same algorithms that we've created to create the early matches to find capital resources, we will be later employing as we build out our roadmap towards basically human capital as well. And so what that's going to allow us to do is to pull in talent. It's going to allow us to pull in advisors. And these are the things that once you get funding, you need to execute on that funding, and that takes people. And so the reason why we're starting with funding first is it's a pretty critical uh, area that every business right now is starving for. Our goal is Q1 funding and capital solutions of this year. Q2, we're going to be introducing the marketplace. And that's where you're going to be able to find customers within 
our uh, platform. Because at the end of the day, the best form of funding is paying customers. And then later, as we grow, that's then when we're going to start to pull in all of the human capital resources that all of these businesses desperately need to truly be able to scale. That's great. Absolutely. I know you had you had used earlier the term um, distributed and talking a bit about growing using a, a distributed approach. So how is that uh, unique to what you guys are doing? Uh, where it's unique is we're, we're taking all of the resources and we're actually including them within the ecosystem. Uh, what tends to happen right now is you have that mismatch. And a perfect example might be somebody might be interested in uh, agriculture that's in the Maritimes, and you're going to have a fantastic, uh, incredible company that's in Saskatchewan, but they can't find one another. And so current models they're not playing a part. So you've got wasted resources at a time when you have demand. So a distributed model is actually making use of incorporating all of the available resources, all of these alternatives and starting to pull them in. So you don't have wasted resources. At the end of the day, there will always be more demand than supply, but we have more supply than what is currently being able to get found. And so our goal through a distributed model is to close that gap so we're maximizing the current ecosystem with all resources instead of focusing just on traditional. That's great. Thanks so much, Barry. Fantastic job on the presentation today. I, I love learning more about Equo. For those with questions about Equo and what they're doing or who are interested in making an investment, I do encourage you to go visit their campaign page at frontfunder.com forward slash Equo. Before we wrap up today, for anyone new to the call who's not as familiar with Front Funder, just wanted to share some, some key information about who we are. So we are Canada's leading equity crowdfunding platform. We make it easy for all Canadians and everyday Canadians to invest in some of the most exciting startup and growth stage businesses from as little as $250. You got to see many of those exciting businesses here today. Um, and we've supported uh, many companies in their capital raise journey and many individuals on getting started in investing in the private capital markets. If you're eager to learn more about how to make an investment, uh, if you haven't made one yet on the platform, I do encourage you to go visit our, our platform. That's just frontfunder.com. You can browse some of our FAQs, explore some of the companies. And if you have questions at any point as well, I do encourage you to visit support at frontfunder.com. Thanks so much. Bye.